Hey, how's everybody doing? This is JJ with Deluxe Vehicle Detailing and Paint Correction here in beautiful Seminole, Florida. I am in the house today and I am going to show you the steps you need to clean motorcycle saddlebags. Uh, this could apply to other leather uh, applications as well. So follow along. I'm just going to give you kind of a brief overview right now and uh, show you some of the tools uh, and then uh, I'll set it up and we'll go over the techniques and procedures. Okay, so let me flip you around, show you what we're working with here. So this is my work area that I've set up. Um, I have a number of different products here uh, and tools. I'm going to uh, tell you uh, my, uh, my whys. First off, have yourself a stack of some nice absorbent microfiber towels. I've got a combination of some Creature Edgeless, some Minx towels, some just generic random Walmart type towels, but these are quite absorbent. Um, I use a product for cleaning that is called Optimum No Rents. This is from a company called uh, Optimum Polymer Technologies. You can go to OptimumCarCare.com. If you're not familiar with this product, it's got 101 uses. Uh, it is very dilutable. This is a very concentrated gallon that I'm showing you. And what I do is I put uh, to a gallon of water... I have my pump sprayer. I guess I was trying to show you. This is just a, a regular chopping sprayer from, you know, from one of the big box uh, stores. But uh, I like to have a pump sprayer. You know, you're not pressing something, pulling some trigger, something like that. So I've got this loaded up um, with, uh, you know, a makeup. Uh, I actually make up five gallons at a time, but it's just half of a tablespoon into a gallon of distilled water I use so that you don't have any water spotting or minerals left behind that are going to stay on your leather and also it just makes all products work a little better when you use distilled water so spend that dollar go to you know go to the grocery store get yourself a gallon of distilled water it's well worth it uh, I also have a number of brushes here I've got some small ones from, for getting into the intricate places of the bag itself. So nice, uh, you know, an older toothbrush. You can get into the seams very well, very important. Uh, this type of brush is a leather brush. I think it's mostly referred to as a LV brush for leather vinyl. Great for seats when you want to get into those seam areas. Also covers a pretty good amount of, uh, of uh, surface area so that when you're on the leather, you can really get into it. And it's almost like a felt material. I think it's described as microfiber. If you've never seen one of these, I'll try and get a little tight on here, but it's, it's almost like a felt. And all these little fingers allow you to get into the grain and really get a nice cleaning effect. Never hurts to have a nice soft bristle brush as well. You kind of want to get some almost like a, a, a I don't want to say a lather because this uh, particular product with the Optimum No Rents doesn't really lather up. But there are times when you do use certain cleaners and it's nice to get things to kind of lather up and then you can wipe away all those dirt and remnants. If you need something uh, that's got a little more bite to it, this is a Color Lock leather brush. I believe these are from Germany. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're on Amazon and um, it's got a little, a little more stiffness if you've got a, a stain or something like that that you need to work on. Maybe some uh, bird droppings got on your leather. Uh, a great brush for that. I've got a couple other brushes that are just general detail brushes. Um, again, kind of getting into the seams, getting into the tight spots. You want to clean your stitching 
on your bag because if you're not getting down into the stitching and removing that dirt then you're not really cleaning the bag it will you know can lead to um you know uh, um you know the bag just not holding up as long so you want to be sure and get into all surfaces and uh also helps to have some real good lighting this is a paint correction light but you can really see you know what you're doing i use a series of headlamps generally also um and uh so that being rather important um as far as after the cleaning i'm going to show you all in this just one step because i've got the two bags so i'm going to show you the cleaning process on this bag and then i've got a bag ready to go as far as the conditioner goes um i i use a lot of different leather products i'll i'll tell you right now that a company called leather reek um really uh produces some great products they've got a rejuvenator if your leather is really stiff it's really hard you're afraid it might start cracking um you know this is a fairly new bag and uh, this bike is well taken care of but um you know it's it's got some you can see here especially like under the flap you can see i've got some dirt i've got some stuff to work with here um, and so, you know, if you're working with an older leather bag, you probably want to use something like Leathery produces, which is called a rejuvenator. I'm not going to get into the whole process, but it can be a multi-step, multi-day process. And then you use a product that's called Pristine Clean, and uh, that takes away all of the, uh, there actually aren't oils in the rejuvenator, but uh, check out Leather Reek. I think it's leatherreek.com. And um, they also have, you know, a lot of color matching if you need, you know, something dyed or something like that. They're just, I think, kind of the leather uh, gurus. They've been around since the 60s. Love that company. Uh, my client uh, said that he wants uh, this bag. I believe he called it uh, Armor All Shiny. Just like with tires, when I get a client with a car, I say, do you like kind of more of a just clean, natural look? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, clean, natural look with your uh, tires, or do you like kind of a glossy, shiny, you know, what I consider kind of an 80s uh, shiny look on your tires? And he said, yeah, he likes the shiny. So when I have someone that wants shiny for leather, um, this is my go-to. This is Meguiar's. You can go to uh, Meguiar's.com. Uh, these are available in the big box stores and, you know, AutoZones and O'Reilly's, things like that. Um, this gold class rich leather, um, it's a one step, right? It cleans, conditions, and protects all in one. It also has UV inhibitors. So the UV inhibitors um, are great because your bag's going to see a lot of sun. And to apply... Uh, a conditioner, a cleaner like that, I have this very, very ultra soft tipped detail brush. Again, you can find these online. I believe Amazon carries this. Um, forget the uh, who the maker of this particular one is, but just you want to go in with something soft that has a ton of bristles so it really gets into the grain of the leather. And I put that in a cup see if I can get that uh, it's got a nice uh, it's got a nice pump sprayer on it pump sprayer it's not really a sprayer it's just kind of a pump uh, get that there so you know it's great you can pump it right into a brush you could probably pump it right on to your leather um, me I just like the application of having dipping my brush into the cup and that way dispersing it all around all over the leather it's just my technique uh, and I will use sometimes a, a number of brushes some of them in the cleaning some of them in the protecting stage if you don't want something too satiny uh, this is one of my favorite products as well this is angel wax heaven for leather and this is also a one-step cleaner where you can really get in 
uh, get things cleaned and protected. So without going into anything too lengthy further, as I actually am already pretty lengthy, uh, I'm going to show you the process here real quick and uh, uh, I hope uh, I hope this helps you. So hold on one sec. All right, so I want to uh, just go over a very simple process. So in the cleaning, this is what I consider the the dirt knockoff stage, right? This is just getting things cleaned up and ready so you can use a cleaner protectant on it. This is why I like the Optimum No Rinse. Uh, like I said, pump sprayer makes your life easy. And I liber li liberally apply this. What? Missed my trigger there. So I get this just all over the surfaces. It has uh, polymers within the cleaner. It uh, does uh, emulsify and encapsulate dirt. Uh, I, I can tell you that it's very versatile, as I mentioned. And it also, if you put some on the cloth itself, really rub it in. Be sure and get your seams, your stitching. You want to get up underneath these leather uh, uh, pieces that are stitched together. Again, a nice reason to have small brushes where you can really get in. You want to protect and again, the ONR, very versatile, probably the best glass cleaner I've ever used. I don't even, you know, buy any glass cleaners anymore. Uh, you can use it as a clay lubricant for uh, claying your bike uh, or your car. Uh, just a lot of uses. So again, I'm trying to float the dirt. I'm using a lot of this you know, it's, it's just water in consistency. I want to make sure I get all of these, uh, you know, different uh, leather attachments, get all around the buckles, get around the metal work. You just want to get everything nice and clean, right? Pretty self-explanatory. You go all around the bike. Now you've got everything wet. Now your stitching is all wet. And if you went and used a conditioner uh, cleaner on that right away, or you wanted to put some, you know, beeswax or mink oil or some sort of waterproofing or something, well, it would be a bad time to do it because now all of this is saturated, which is good to bring up the dirt, but now it's got moisture in it. And so you don't want to go right to your last step for the leather. So I'm not going to bore you with that because yesterday I went ahead and cleaned this just to give you a little comparison in the look. I mean, this is freshly cleaned. Give you a little idea of uncleaned versus cleaned. Not sure. If I'm too close on that or not, but anyway, <laughs> my camera work is not always at its premium. Anyway, just to give, I'm just trying to give you a, a show there, right? A show of how it should look. Now, here we are. This has been nice and cleaned, and I've left it sit out for a day or so. So all this stitching. Uh, maybe some of this untreated leather that absorbs some moisture. Now it's all dry. Now it's ready for the application of conditioner and further cleaning. So the first stage, just knock off the dirt to dust, float the dirt, get all the stitching. Now we're going to go for protection and cleaning. Uh, I did forget to mention I had it sitting out and forgot. This is a uh, half mitt. These are made by a company called Auto Fiber, and uh, this has a plastic lining uh, between the microfiber and this actual liner. 
so that you can get your hand, I get about four fingers in there, it's about half a mitt, and I like to be able to rub uh, products in. I use this for a lot of different things. It's, it's made for coating cars. It doesn't absorb a lot of product. Well, that's also great in this case. If you've got a regular microfiber pad or something, you're gonna be absorbing a lot and you're gonna be wasting a lot. So why waste product, right? So anyway, here's how this goes. This, uh, this Meguiar's uh, product is, um, I'd say, you know, it's, it's not real super thick, but it's definitely not watery. Tap that out. And you just want to apply, get your brush. I like this half mitt because it really helps spread the product. And I will use this very soft detail brush and get in all the stitching, the sides of the leather, the grain, work it in. Trying to mop up the excess and voila. So you're gonna let that sit. It's going to absorb in and it is gonna give you a nice, this is what the client wanted. He wanted kind of a glossy look. It won't be quite this glossy. I don't know how that's showing up on the camera, but here's a line here that I have of demarcation so you can see just how dark and rich uh, that looks. And that, that glossiness will pretty much stay like that. It will have a much darker uh, shine, uh, hue to it. So uh, it's a great product and that's the process. I do appreciate you being with me. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me some likes, make some comments. Uh, it helps my analytics if you, you know, comment, like, share, hit the notification bell, bing, get other great videos as they come out. And uh, as always, enjoy making your vehicles beautiful. I thank you very much. Take care.